Let's move back to the barren swamp. You know, for a swamp that's supposed to be pretty barren, it was kind of covered in stuff. Like it was full of full of treasures, like actual literal treasures. The most precious resources in the game. I forgot to talk to Eugenie. <laughs> we have to go back there. That was dumb. <laughs> It's late. Okay, I've been playing this game for 12 hours today. <laughs> Give me a break. You have a moment to talk about Alidoro? I know I sound obsessed, but when the workshop tower collapsed, he saved me. We could have starved to death trapped under the rubble. If it wasn't for mm. Alidoro's sacrifice back then, I don't want to think about it. And yet I can't forget it. That's why it's so puzzling. It's not like his finger could grow back. Could you find out more about Alidoro for me? If I called it surveillance, would that be too cruel? In any case, we need to watch out. You be careful too. I know my way around him. Oh, we need one more half moon stone. Uh, I shouldn't have leveled up the the puppet saber. I should have held off like I thought. Oh, it's you. Come here. I've been in such a good mood all day. I have <laughs> a feeling I'll be in better shape in no time. And you better not underestimate me just because I'm not as spry as I used to be. I know you and Polandina are up to something. <laughs> Still, I haven't felt this happy in a while. Only kind people can give others this sort of happiness. I always treasure a day like today. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Oh, I guess we can just teleport back there. <laughs> Bemi says uh, she's going to be a boss, isn't she? We're going to have to fight her, won't we? I don't know. Maybe. It would be interesting if she just became like a, like a boss monster. All right. All right, is there any way to get up there to destroy that crank? It does look like it, but it doesn't look like it's done down there. I just want to investigate this area just a little bit. There are enemies in there. But I don't think we can access it from right there. So I guess we just have to go up. Oh, fuck. Ah. And go up here. Experiment report order test subject 890. Test subject 890, status report, the most successful case from the prototype elixir injection experiments. Three patients suffering from the petrification disease who got the elixir injection at the same time died. 
Right up until their deaths, they experienced painful necrosis and skin ruptures, seizures and convulsions, and crystalline metastasis through the body. Ultimately, they became mutations known as carcasses. Number 890 was able to suppress neutralization side effects and has been stable for 56 hours so far. Just the dissociative amnesia, seizures, aggressive urges, and hallucinations found in typical uh, petrification disease victims. Personal opinion. I confirmed that the order's proposal to take a stalker with verified physical abilities as a sample is very effective. The sample extracted from number 890 is estimated to help the elixir development in the next step. Sister Adriana, who will receive the next baptism, is expected to fulfill the order's wishes. Wake up, evolve, ascend. We are reborners. We will prepare for the birth of a new god. <sighs> Only a crescent moonstone, really? Oh, it's the owl, the owl doctor. Same outfit. I am not number 890, name precious forgotten. Ah, this must be quite an urgent patient to seek out my humble abode. You are still breathing. I must treat you quickly. Grant cannot have any more live patients. They foreshadowed Trust this. Me, it's better this way. Tis far nobler to die as a human. No vital signs. You must be dead. I'll dispose of you properly. I want his weapon. His weapon is cool. In my judgment as a doctor, all should end while they're still humans. Fighting in this cramped corridor is hard. What was her name? Uh, I don't recall. Oh, he hit me out of it. But I got a backstab. <laughs> Oh, I broke him. I want this weapon. Adelina, as in Corday? Well, neat. Uh, what did that even give us? <laughs> I I read the thing that it gave us and then it, it slipped out of my brain. Oh, his, his mask, okay. The mask worn by the Owl Doctor, it is the mask of, of one who had had a name up until his final moments, but was forgotten in the end. The alchemist's merciless experiments pushed him to his limit. In his pain, he denied reality and escaped into delusion. I do like his costume a lot. All right, so he became Experiment 890. That's interesting. And to think I would have missed this little area if I didn't come back for that. Now, I have absolutely no Estus, so you know what that means. I gotta run all the way back to the bonfire, but that's fine. 
Fighting in close quarters with a greatsword is uh, pretty tough. <laughs> it's just kind of hard. Alrighty. It's nice when the greatsword has a thrust on it. Yeah, curved greatswords never do. I do like this weapon though. Like curved greatswords are like a weird, a weird weapon type that I feel like not a lot of people actually use, especially in the Souls games. Like the Murakumo is like a really cool weapon that like I feel like no one used. Cool quality build weapon. I really like that weapon. They've taken over the post, beware of the rocks when entering the ravine. That and spears. People use spears a lot, I think, in these games. Like, spears are pretty popular. In Souls games, at least. The, the other weapon, because you can hold a shield while using them, and people play with shields. Um... The, but there is one shield that I really like, or shield, one spear that I really like that people don't use, and that's the Partisan in Dark Souls 2. The Partisan in Dark Souls 2 is a really, really cool weapon, um, because it's a, uh, it's a slashing spear. It's neat. Fill our legion. How do we get down there? We gotta do a little jump. Nope. I gotta remember to clip that. <laughs> that was stupid. <laughs> Baby Amy says, oh, I thought you meant in this game. Yeah, there just aren't, there aren't many spears in this game is kind of the problem. There's the, the trident that I have and that's just about it. I guess there's the scythe as well, but that's more of like a whip sword. I do like the trident though, it is pretty cool weapon they are dropping resources a lot of resources Star fragments. Hmm. Oh, okay. We go down this way. That makes sense. Eye is itchy. Ouch. We have to beware boulders or something. Now this does not inspire a ton of confidence about the, the safety of this bridge. I like that he just has a lead pipe. Nothing there. Radiant Ergo. So the alchemists tested on people.
in order to cure petrification disease and then accidentally made them into a bunch of monsters. one guy hanging over there we'll take care of him when we get over can I help you sir <laughs> thank you kindly alchemist box yay legion caliber okay well I guess we'll use that to upgrade the shield or something get access to the shield parry just for laughs I guess why not right anything over here Oh, there's a cave. Okay, we will climb up here first and do some exploring. So I have eight poles, which is pretty nice. But we're not gonna, we're not super at a deficit right now. I'm out on Legion string, but that's fine. Like Legion ammo, but that's just kind of whatever. I'm so glad I saw that. My heart is in my mouth right now. I was for sure I was going to fall off that and die. Oh, man. He landed that perfectly. 10 out of 10. Oh, bonfire. That's pleasant. I don't even need to really use it right now. It's activated. That's kind of well. I guess I'll use it. It's not. It's not like a huge deficit to just kill the few things that are right there. You can mostly stun lock enemies like that anyway. Just walk around them. That's how that works. There are rocks. Ooh. Nope. I know. I'm not a big dumb dumb. I can see a trap. I'm not that stupid. What do you think I am? A big dumb idiot? Is the butterfly is it up there or is it like down here I hate this there it is okay oh That was so close. That was so close. Oh my god. Please don't put more in. Ah! I didn't even know they came this way. Uh. 
That's brutal. What's the cadence of this? No. No, don't you dare. Half Moonstone. Okay, we did need that. And now we have enough to upgrade this thing again. Oh, thank God. That'll be a huge damage bonus, I'm hoping. I swear to God, if there's another dimensional butterfly, I'm gonna lose it. There are so many of them. I needed that, that's fine. What? Uh. Uh, okay. Look it up there, it's fine. That was brutal. That was, that was so devastating. <laughs> Man, I need to get that uh, third amulet slot as well. We need to find a quick way to generate quartz so that I can do that. Cause I'm definitely gonna buy um, that third amulet slot so we can wear the rope app. Because that is too good. one that's gonna come down here yep no no way game you cannot trick me right now I will go after half moonstone exactly what I need Okay, this is good. Now they're giving us resources we want. So the game has finally caught up with our leveling of a weapon, I guess. I'll probably need full moonstone to get it from nine to 10, but fuck. All right, there are two break things there. Oh no, there's a bear. Did you see that environmental storytelling? There's a shortcut. Okay. That was essential that we do that. Oh God. Oh God, I'm being mauled by a bear. He's walking away. I don't know why he's backing up over there. Arch disruption cartridge. Yeah, that's probably the one I need. Here's what's gonna happen. He's gonna hit this. No, he didn't hit it. need to fight the petrification bear that's fine I would like to um, just to see if it has quartz I doubt it does though because the other bear we fought dropped nothing but at least it will be worth experimenting will it though actually I don't know
come and fight me. I should probably upgrade my sword. We'll do that after. You gonna fight me, bear, or what? Oh, he hit me out of it. I just dropped a star fragment. All right, well, I mean, we know it wasn't really worth it to fight him, but that's fine. We can just sit at the bonfire. I need to go down to Hotel Cro anyway to level up and to uh, upgrade our weapon. I should probably go back and try to look at Aladoro if we run into him. I don't know if he's still at the bridge or not. Whatever choice you make. All right. More capacity, which is great. I know my way around. A Yeah, we just need full moonstone now to turn this into a plus 10 weapon. Pretty good. All right, we need to we also need to go grab the coins cuz otherwise it's a waste. And we don't have any quartz left. There's nothing to do with that. We're at that part of the end game of this game where it's like, oh no, we have like stuff to maintain constantly and like economies to participate in, <laughs> stuff like that. Stalker, please. Stalker. That's what we want, just so that we can constantly heal our summons if we ever, uh, if we ever summon them again, if we ever get another specter or whatever. Just being able to heal them is, is usually enough. You don't need to worry on like giving them blitz attack or anything. Like there's there's really no point in using the the extra attacks there, attacks. Uh, using the extra status effects because the enemies aren't going to like your specter is not going to really proc anything on an enemy all right let's uh really quickly go back here and just see if aladoro is here ready for conversation my guess is probably not but Is he over there? He is. You're a worthy hunter, and it is. You're yeah, a worthy. Can't. There's nothing. He has nothing new for us. Okay. Well, whatever. The bear kind of looked like the Pokemon Conkledur. Um, that could be a fake Pokemon, and I wouldn't know. Like, you could fool me with that. Because, like, I don't play Pokemon. <laughs> so I have no... The only Pokemon I, uh... The only Pokemon I'm familiar with are, like, Charizard and Lucario, for furry reasons. Alright, 
Let's see. I'll just go over here and check out this section. Yeah, you can't. I played Bloodborne. You can't trick me. I knew you were gonna pop out here. Oh, fuck. What's in here? This is a black box. The black boxes usually have different things in them, don't they? Yeah. City long sp spear blade, city long spear handle. The B technique weapon. Demotivity. Interesting. A spear blade fashioned in a hurry from a broken fence. The uniquely splayed spear blade is surprisingly effective. The long spear that the people made in haste was crude but effective. The artist, ba Bastion, remarked that it was a work of art that represented the city of Krat. The spear handle made out of signpost support, the marks signifying the location have faded to the point that they are unrecognizable. I wanted to read it. Uh, short on weapons, the citizen quickly started to make weapons out of city property. It was like a mini diorama of Krat. I guess it's like a cool looking weapon. Speaking of spears. This just has the Dark Souls spear move set. <laughs> Which will go straight. It says, unfortunately, that Pokemon is real. Got it. Oh, you've got to be fucking me. Oh, I hate this move set already. What are you doing? Oh, is this a remnant of the theme park that they were trying to build here? Fuck, I wasted my fable on that. No! Ah! Come on. Oh fuck, that's the man grab again. I can stack more damage onto that if I'm fast, but it's safer to just go for damage. Leaping amulet. What does that do? I don't even know if I want to know. Increases max stamina. Okay. Carcass body fluid bottle. Alrighty. Uh, that was hell from my absolute worst nightmares. Just glad we all agree with that. And all had to witness that. Quickly, uh, bonfire. Just get her health back. Okay. We have done a good job today. Making good progress. So this is where the, the thingy is, the mortar.
Look at that. That being said, probably way faster to just take the other bonfire. There's no reason to have this one to ever use the one crossing the swamp to get here. There's no point. <laughs> Why you would ever do that, I do not understand because it is so far and you have to cross the swamp to do it. There is no, that is a useless, useless thing to do. All right, so that mortar is uh, donezo. And we have moved beyond. Huh. Oh, this is the bridge on the other side. Got it. The bridge that crossed the gap near the little poison pool cliffside. Okay. Whoa! An earthquake! That came from the direction of Krat Central Station. Oh, this could be bad, pal. Really, really bad. An earthquake? It came from the direction of a central station. I mean, I guess you would. I mean, I've been through earthquakes. I've never been able to tell the direction it comes from. Ooh, another furry. There must be some way to open this. Is this our our? Uh, is this our what's his name? Uh, Siegmeier. Uh, hey, are you a treasure hunter too? Strange to me, someone in my line of work. I know how this looks, but I'm not a thief or anything. <laughs> I am on a serious expedition. I love his voice. You wouldn't happen to know a, a treasure hunter named Alidoro, would you? I'm a big fan. <laughs> I plan my expeditions to follow Alidoro's traces, but ugh, this lock has me at a dead end, and I so wanted to explore the hermit's cave. Oh, all I can do is keep plugging away. If you come back by, say hello. Maybe I'll get this place open. Maybe. Life is short, and life in Krat is shorter. I reckon I should cherish what time I've got. All I can do is keep plugging away. Uh, if you come back by, say hello. Maybe I'll get this place open. Uh, about Alidoro. You never heard of Alidoro? He's a treasure hunter and one of the best. And unlike a lot of the riffraff in Krat, he's not a thief. He's a pro who excavates antiquities methodically. Hmm. And professionalism is important when you're talking about Ergo. Just mention Ergo, and everyone cares about the history behind the ruins. That's why Alidoro has the reputation he does. The quality of his information and the condition of the antiquities are on another level. I know there are rumors about Alidoro lately, but I know jealousy when I hear it. Hmm. The rumors? Well, for starters, they're nonsense. Alidoro is the last person you'd suspect of crimes like fraud and theft and assault. It's crazy. I've even seen a wanted poster of him. Those alchemists must be behind it. Those guys act like they own the ruins, and they don't want treasure hunters to earn an honest living. I mean, come on. We're talking about the Alidoro who saved all those lives in the workshop tower rubble. So, no, I don't believe a word of it. Ugh, would you get a load of this? I grabbed it as a souvenir, but it's just malicious propaganda. You take it. Wanted, Alidoro, a con man who calls himself a treasure hunter, wears a hound mask. Charged with fraud, impersonation, theft, assault, and other serious crimes. He's very good at tricking people, so watch out. Life is short, and all I can do is... My treasure? Well, this is what I've got so far. It's a cryptic vessel. A sort of cipher device, but I don't know how it works. I don't want to throw it away. I think it's a clue to some stolen goods. I found it between the corpses of two thieves who died fighting over it. You know what they say, no honor among thieves. But I can't make heads or tails of it. If you want it, it's yours. 
All right, we'll take Life that to Vanini. Life is short. All I can do is... Life is... So we have, uh... Ooh. We have, uh, a reason to... Go back to the hotel again. As always. <laughs> Just constantly moving back to the hotel. We should probably, I, I would think that we could give the, the thing to you, Eugenie, but I guess not. Or Eugenie. I hear there is a new guest at the hotel. And that you had a little something to do with that. What does that mean? I just find saving people is its own reward. I certainly don't need the money. <laughs> Even strangers. Everyone deserves some help now and then. If we who live through times like this don't live the best lives we can, we dishonor the memories of all we have lost. Honoring the lost is why I do what I do. In a way, I envy the dead. They don't have to know what it's like to remember that they're gone. Ha! <laughs> and here I go again. Blah, 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 and who cares, huh? <laughs> now, let's get out there and save my... That is our city. You know, people say that Alidoro is like a narcissist, but I actually do think he's like a nice person, fundamentally looking out for people. He's a little into himself, but like... He doesn't come off as like a narcissistic Tony Stark type. Like he genuinely does seem like a good dude. <laughs> the Grand Covenant. You're not asking much, are you? <laughs> Very well. Geppetto himself created it and I, God help me, I made it work. It's in every puppet, a sort of conscience. And in theory, it should have prevented anything like the puppet frenzy ever happening. It's because we don't truly understand ergo, at least that's my view. Sometimes ergo-driven puppets gain what we call awakened egos. Individuality, more or less. Which is a dangerous thing if someone's not ready to handle it. Though that is rare, or used to be. Hence, the Grand Covenant. Humanity's safety net. But it did not work. The puppet frenzy happened anyway. And I still don't know how. So, the King of Puppets, how did he get around the Covenant, I wonder? He used the Ergo wavelengths, but what did he do to their consciences? However, it's a different story when a single puppet cracks the safety device of so many puppets. Does the Grand Covenant break when their ego awakens? Or did someone cause the frenzy after lifting the Grand Covenant? If it's the former, the King of Puppets is the culprit. If it's the latter, the King of Puppets is a means to an end. I am but a simple... Brilliant, genius, and the man about town. I do not pretend to be otherwise. That is why I'm asking you to solve this. Everything depends on what you do now mm. and your choices. I always welcome... F there you are. Now, just leave this to me. Done and done. You will find Venini always seeks to rise to the challenge at hand. I like this guy. An old shack in the tomb slums in the Malam district. Look for a bleak tree in a laundry line and enter the shack next to them. Appendix. An agreement is attached for mutual trust. I kept hiding the stolen goods in the barren swamp and realized something. I'm never going to return if I keep going to the swamp. All I've known is the life of a thief, but I don't want to die now. So even if we're returning to our sweet... So we're returning to our sweet home. Even if the Black Rapid Brotherhood is making trouble, we were technically before them in the Malam district. In the slums, you follow the slum rules. First, bring the stolen goods to our ho our old base. We may be dumb, but we're loyal and like the rich. Here's to a lifelong friendship. Where is that located? Hmm. I know my way around. Okay, we can't talk to her about that thing. Hmm. What about you? I get the puppets. 
What is happening? Okay. Interesting. Uh, all right. Uh, hmm. I guess we'll go try to track down the um, treasure hunt.